I remember when my father asked me to stay. Stay up all night to watch fireflies. I didn't want to, but he was right. It was the most magical thing I'd seen. My mother asked me to stay. Stay patient until the chickens got here. I just wanted to pull them out of their eggs and play. I was so glad I waited. This kid I knew asked me to stay on his team. We lost the game, but he became my best friend. And when I became a teenager, everyone kept telling me to stay. Stay focused, stay out of trouble, stay faithful. And all I could think of was the stress, the pressure, the expectations. The things I used to be excited about now seem nothing like I'd imagined. Pointless, heavy. And then people asked, how are you? And I said, fine. And people said, is there anything I can do for you? And I said, no. I tried to smile and hide my darkness. I remember waking up on my 17th birthday, wanting to end my life because I felt so much pain, because I, I felt nothing. So I decided to tell others how I feel, bring everything hidden into the light, because I knew one of them could help. I remember my dad holding me, my mom and my sister, now they ask me to stay around for another moment, for another agonizing week, month, even if I couldn't see that tomorrow will get better. And I realized that somewhere in between my new, dark existence and all those beautiful moments that I've experienced in the past, I forgot something. I didn't have to stay alone. The pain doesn't fully go away. It still takes many endless conversations. Therapy, prayers, medication. But as time goes on, I choose to stay hopeful. I choose to stay. To experience small, simple things I love. To see new places, meet new people. To discover who I am. To be surprised be loved. You can choose to stay too.